Here you go, my man. I'll bring you drinks right over. Okay, thank you. Come on, come on, throw the bomb! Hey, what do you think, team man? You gonna run a deep corner route like your old man used to run? I'd say quick screen to the wide out and the right side. You got a mile to go for a first down? Be stupid to throw a short pass. Well, uh, this offensive coordinator historically goes with a quick screen on third and 18, 74.3% of the time. As a result of the penalty, off to the side to Armstrong this time, so he'll try to just take it down the sideline as far as he can, and he gets close to a first hey, down. Hey, first down! down. Yeah! You know, I think we talked about Joe Hartford, and a little bit of frustration from him with the Lucky losing, guess. Uh-huh. Defense is in a dime packet. He'll open a shotgun formation, but he'll run the ball. An option play. They run an option and a nice fake. Oh, 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 oh. What you think, T-Man? Bet you can't call the next play. I call touchdown. Touchdown. I call that too. Off to the side, Armstrong cuts back. All right, go, go, go. Almost. Coach should have let you call the next play, huh? Like, guys, I, I gotta go. What do you mean? The game's just getting good, John. I, I got a ton of work to do. Tyler, bye. Dorfman Queen's nightcap. Refused. Karpov, 76 counter. Bishop takes pawn. Check. I didn't ask for this. I couldn't ask for that. I wouldn't ask for any change in plans. Am I ever right? When you're such a brat, I feel much better in your hands. I try to take your word. I want to take you down. You never could me. Hi. Hi. Hello. Um, are you John Doe? Mm-hmm. Did you graduate from the University of Washington in 1989 with a BS in microbiology? Excuse me? It's really a very simple question. Not as simple as you'd think. Do you have a family history of myopia? Are you selling me something? High blood pressure. Hold on. Who are you? I'm Leslie Silva, your son. Is this possible? The father's DNA and my DNA profile are... A perfect match. Pretty cool, huh? Dad. Hey, you like robots? Because I brought robots. Are you implying you and I... Oh, no, no, no. You and I were never, um, intimate, Mr. Doe. Actually, as far as I know, we've never met. Never met? He was conceived by... Artificial insemination. My egg, and your donated spermatozoa. It's not like it's a bad word, Mom. It's biology. Right. He's just really excited to be finally meeting you. We've been searching for some time. So how did you find me? It wasn't easy. Vitro Choice, the sperm bank, has a very strict donor confidentiality policy. All they would give me was this. Medical history. University of Washington. It doesn't give my name. Well, no, that's the confidential part. We've been looking for a long time. About two months ago, I placed ads in both the Advance and the Chronicle looking for donors who matched the donor DNA profile. Didn't get any responses, so we went to plan B. I saved up about two years' worth of tips and bribed a nurse at Vitro Choice. She gave us a copy of the donor's DNA. Which I ran through the NDIS. National DNA Index System. How old did you say you were? Ten. 
He's quite remarkable with computers, and his IQ off the charts. You know, I posted my DNA on the NDIS a few months ago, hoping to find family members. Well, I guess you just did. The eyes, the brain. Dude, it's mini you. Really? Mm hmm. You see a resemblance? If I were you, I wouldn't go jumping on that father who trains so quick. I mean, dog eye gal comes a knocking, cute little kid in tow calling you pappy. It's the oldest grift in the book. I give it two hours, she'll be asking you for a new car. Why would somebody go to those lengths? You said it yourself. You posted your DNA profile on the NDIS. She sees a rich, handsome guy, single, lonely, maybe takes you for a perfect mark. Man, you're such a Scorpio digger, only seeing the darkness in people. I'm a bartender. That's what I see. Hey, you seriously think you went and did your business in a plastic cup? Well, Beatro Choice pays up to 10000 for the right intellect. Excuse you? Well, I, I gotta play this one out. See if I can break into the sperm bank's confidential file. Find out who I am. Find out my real name. Now, don't feel the need to rush. Time varies for different donors. <clears throat> the reproductive process for homo sapien males from, <clears throat> from first arousal through to climax is nine minutes, 24 seconds. Mm -hmm. Could you describe the process to me again, please? You masturbate into the cup. Uh, after that. Well, we check your semen for sperm count. We look at your genetic screening and IQ test, and results will tell us if you're a lucky winner. Human sperm was first discovered in 1677 by an early master of microscopes. He stated to his colleagues that he could see small animals moving about in the ejaculate. <laughs> Congratulations. You seem to know all there is to know about semen. I'm sure you won't have any trouble providing some. It says here you have no history of hereditary diseases. Grandparents live well into their 90s. That's why you're chosen as a surrogate for Group Otto. Otto? I, I don't understand. What's Group Otto? Italian for eight. The eight men in your donor group appear to be the best eight bright. Eight men? No, I thought I was given the sperm from just one donor. Oh, no. Uh, Vitro Choice specializes in the Morton fertilization process, which means they uh, fertilize the mother's eggs with multiple donors, increasing the chances of a viable embryo. You see, the eight men in your donor group appear to be the best and brightest, distinguished in arts and sciences, with IQs over 170. Is that high? Einstein's was 160. Okay. Mm -hmm. Got some good genes there, kid. No, hold on a second. The nurse assured us she gave us the donor's DNA, your DNA. Nobody can give you that assurance. I mean, uh, the doctors themselves don't know for sure which one of the donor's sperms they want to take. So, any one of these geniuses could be my dad? Mm-hmm. I mean, they all need to take paternity tests, but, uh, you know, I would be more than happy to do. It takes three to five days before the results come back. And until then? Well, I'm uh, going to try to find the other donors. Um, Mom, can I go with him? Uh, no, I, I like to work alone. But as soon as I find out something, you'll be the first to know. You just totally crushed that little dude. Look, I just can't do kids. John, you know how to do everything. What if you need to go to the bathroom or something? Is 
on here? Long story. Isn't John Doe the name they give to unidentified people? What are you, like a spy or something? <laughs> I'm not a spy. Well, then what's your real name? That is my real name. So your parents are Mr. and Mrs. Doe, and they named you John? Something like that. Well, then how come your name isn't on this list? That's not your real name, is it? Do you even know your own name? Do you have to ask so many questions? That's what my mom says when she doesn't know the answer. Do you have, like, amnesia or something? So one of these group auto geniuses could be you. <laughs> cool. That's what I'm hoping. I so want one of these. I think your feet have to touch the ground before you can ride one of those. 2002 Intruder, 805 CC, Sterling Silver. That's two-tone. That's dark blue and vivid black. William S. Harley and Arthur Davidson uh, built their first bike in a 10 by 15 woodshed, much like this, 99 years ago. You know your hog history, huh? Yeah. Uh, are you Dante Lonigan? Name my mama gave me. Uh, I'm here about a donation you made a decade ago. Vitro choice. This is about Otto? Maybe. Look, Otto is not my damn idea, all right? Now get the hell out of here. I'm just trying to help this boy find his father. You're not gonna find him here, Jacko. Okay. I'm gonna count to three. Okay. One. Okay. Two. Not me. I'm coming. You. I've been waiting for you. You know? Yeah, yeah, Dante told me all about you. Word to the wise, okay? You just forget about Grubato. Just forget it. D. Walker. Hi. Looking for... You uh, realize you're currently violating solicitation standards 19.09.020 of the Washington Code. And if you don't get out of here, I'm calling the police. How can she be a sperm donor? This is strange. Even for me. Hello? Mr. Lamond? Wait here. Coagulants show this guy's been dead for approximately 24 hours. And his brain is just gone. Olfactory and cranial nerves, severed clean. Probably used a cranial drill. And I can tell you, it takes real skill to use something like that. So then our killer is medically trained. Mm-hmm. It's never just a simple gunshot wound with you, is it, though? Look, I was trying to help that boy. Help him? Poor kid's scared half to death. Who is he to you, anyway? It's just a case. I do work on my own, you know. I still don't believe you brought a kid along in here. Have you seen that horror show back in there? I told him to wait outside. You work in a case and you brought a kid along? It's downright irresponsible. Don't you know anything about kids? Yeah, the average 10-year-old male grows... 54 point. Oh, Look, I'm just trying to help Wesley find his dad. Look, don't even tell me the victim is his father. Wesley's biological father is a sperm donor. Any one of these eight, including the victim, they all belong to something called Group Auto. What would this have to do with why he was killed? Well, they all know each other, and they're keeping some serious secrets. Donor number two. 
Dr. Elvis Braithwaite. He specializes in arteriovenous malformations. Brain surgery. Stella picked up a six-week-old unsolved homicide case. Same M.O., no clues, missing brain. Victim's name was Dan Perry, number five on that list of yours. One more I can scratch off. Well, if we don't get hurrying up, we're going to end up scratching a whole lot more names off. Dr. Elvis Braithwaite, brain surgeon. Admitted to med school at age 16. Wow. Oh, and look here. A prior arrest for assault. <laughs> That was 10 years ago, sweetheart. Uh-huh. And the guy you assaulted, Andrew Lamone, just happened to turn up dead today. All right. We went to med school together. There was a little bit of competitive rivalry. He was jealous of me. Can't blame him for that. So, you, um, you entered college when you were only 13. Probably felt like an outsider. I can't imagine you had many girlfriends. Must be lonely being so smart. No one to talk to, to, uh, to understand. So alienated. Must make you want to just lash out at the world sometimes. Do something, anything. Yeah. There's only one problem with your theory, detective. Yesterday, I was performing a very delicate stereotactic image guided craniotomy, and I was at the hospital all day. What do you know about Andrew Lamont? From what I hear, his cold ass is on a slab down at the morgue. No love lost between you, I gather. I haven't seen a cat in almost a decade. So you weren't at his house yesterday, caught in a hole in his head. <laughs> I'm a peaceful man. Uh-huh. How about you fill me in on how you ended up on that list of vitro choice sperm donors? Not sperm donor. Egg donor. I was just a college student obsessed with becoming the next Bobby Fischer when they asked me to join Grubato. I didn't know any better. Any better about what? What was Otto? Talk to me, Dion. Is that what Otto does? Is that Andrew Lamond and Dan Perry? Now, I know they were part of Group Auto. So whatever secret is you have buried deep in that head of yours, there is somebody out there who is willing to get at it permanently. Group Auto was a eugenics program. Eugenics? eugenics. That's selective breeding? Mm -hmm. I need specific Twisted concept yeah. first popularized by Madison Grant's 1916 book, The Passing of the Great Race. He advocated sterilizing the ill and the handicapped. Oh, that's nice. If people don't look like you, have them neutered. Theoretically, Group Auto was the best of the gene pool. Eight genius level intellects brought together to create a generation of super babies. Garbage, all right? But to me, to all of us, it was just some easy money to help us get through school. So why the big cover? When the college paper did an editorial suggesting we were a bunch of Nazis. I'll help her, Bruce. I got death threats. Rocks through my window. Elvis' parents' house was burnt down, and Dante was actually stabbed. If this all happened 10 years ago, why would somebody be coming after you guys today? I don't know. You ever seen one of these? It's a digital recorder. Hi. Hi. You okay? Yeah, the detective just wanted to ask Wesley if he could remember anything else he saw at the crime scene. Look, I'm, I'm really sorry about all this. And he's really hoping that you're the one. I'm not sure if I'm the best candidate. Why not? Well, I can't remember my dad, you know, taking me to ball games, fishing, or, or anything. The point is, I'm lacking in the personal experience department. All right. No, it's a left-handed It's a right-arm salute! You're a moron. Settle down. I don't think you even have the gray matter to be in this room, Square Jaw. <laughs> Try me. 
Define the word sanguinary. Bloodthirsty. Murderous. Interesting question. In Korean chess, what is it called when two kings are facing each other with no intervening pieces? Naked. A number of years ago, Harley Davidson introduced the FXS lowrider cubed. 15,625. Origin of the term checkmate. Land speed record for a motorcycle. Shawmot, Persian phrase for the king is dead. 333.1 miles per hour. Don Vesco, 1978, lightning bolt one. What if 14th century French soldiers use as a coagulant? Spider webs. Derivation of the word nerd. Dr. Seuss, 1950, in his book, If I Ran the Zoo. Man, you're unbelievable. Are you some kind of idiot savant? Gene match paternity test analyzes the buccal cells of the inside cheek, accurate within 0.05%. I know. I'm a brain surgeon. I'm fully or oh. All right, I have samples of all three of you plus the deceased. Results in 72 hours. Okay, uh, we need to locate the other members of Group Auto. Donor number six, Zeke Pepperfield. Number seven, Chris Sherman. Number eight, William Sullivan. Any one could be Wesley's father. The other, the killer. Yeah, well, number seven and number eight. I never knew him. None of us did. Kid. It turns out I'm the one. I'll get you one of those that fits. Donor number seven and eight were the only two members of Group Auto who didn't attend UW. Sent their little swimmers via FedEx. One of those two donors could be you. Maybe. What about donor number six, Zeke Pepperfield? Oh, Pepperfield's a sicko that started Group Auto. Oh, great. So we got the size spurling a sperm? Not just a founder, he's also a client? Oh, a big league flake, bro. A couple years back, he turned in his medical degree to strike it rich. Bought a diamond mine in Prairie Creek, Arkansas. Ridiculous. Any mineralogist knows that the purest forms of diamonds are found in South Africa. 98% mm, of diamonds mined in Prairie Creek, Arkansas are industrial grade. Used to make conductors for electrical components. Engraving tools. And surgical blades. Used on diamond dipped cranial saws. And that's our murder weapon. I'm getting an address. Mr. Pepperfield? Mr. Pepperfield! Well, I guess he ain't a suspect anymore. Huh? No! Donor number six off your list. Mm -hmm. Group auto, it's getting smaller and smaller. Well, look who's here. <laughs> Little man Tate is following you around like a lost puppy. Now, would you get him out of here? <laughs> what? It's my responsibility now? Hey, you see the way he looks at you? He's your responsibility whether you want it or not. Now, I gotta get back to my kids, man. My one day a week to play daddy's about half over. Wesley, how did you find me? Police scanner. I listen to it over the web sometimes. I swear, these are the coolest wheels. Hey, um, what color is it? I can't tell. I'm I'm colorblind. Colorblind? What? You no, know, this kid named Jamie at my school was bragging about his dad's new Porsche, but I told him how much cooler your AC Cobra was. 
I was kind of hoping we could go show them up. How about instead you and I take a trip to the Seattle Optometry College together? You see, I'm colorblind too. And they have this machine called an anomaloscope. But the, the look on Jamie's face when we pull up, it's... Uh... Wes, this would be so much fun, I promise. I mean, they have this experiment, it's... Okay, um, you know, that was a dumb idea. Forget it. I'll see you around, okay? Nine ball, sequential game. But I've been playing nine ball since before you were breathing. One ball, side pocket. Donor number one, Dante, repairs Harley's for a little bit. So, can't be him. Donor number two, Elvis, child prodigy, brain surgeon, left corner. Can't be me. Is this color commentary really necessary? 3-4 combination. Dion and Lamont. Can't be them either. Curry and Pepperfield. Donors five and six. Both dead. No and no. Now, seven and eight. Chris Sherman, William Sullivan, serious possibilities. No one's ever met them. Hi, I'm Chris. Hi. I'm William. Playing ball, side pocket. Good game. So, uh, where's your son to be now? I don't know. I see. Well, as you know, uh, nine ball is a sequential game. Nine in the corner pocket. Thanks for doing all the heavy lifting, though. Two out of three? Why not? Now, listen. Look, maybe this thing's a scam, maybe it's not. The devil's advocate. I mean, wasn't it you in here a couple of days ago whining into your scotch about how you don't have a girlfriend or a wife? Well, if you stop thinking about you for a minute, maybe you realize that you're blowing off the closest thing to a family you've ever come across. It's been a long day. I just need to... Oh, really? Well, good luck with that. Look, one of your genius pals had this major break-in at his house. Okay, nobody got hurt. But now they're all freaking out about this brain-stealing whack job. And they kind of, um... Decided to move in. I'm gonna be here. Sorry, boss man. What? I'm gonna be here. I'm gonna be here.
coffee. JD, do not expect me to tidy up after your friends. Not part of the job description. Hey, yo, dope. Grab me those cool little robots that Wesley built. Kids definitely get my gift for mechanical engineering. Okay, program them so that they travel at different speeds because it's vital for the reenactment. Reenactment? What? Well, when you told us how the chase went down, we, we thought it was highly bizarre that the killer could just disappear undetected. So we built this scale model from the crime scene photos to test our hypothesis. Oh, cool. So let's get to it. <laughs> Excuse you? Did you just smell me? Emperor penguins use their sense of smell to determine their mates. Neat. Okay. I remember the killer's heels hitting the pavement 16 times over a 10 second period. So if we multiply that by six and double it, we'll get a step rate per minute. Mm-hmm. Now, based on the scale of this model, that works out to be exactly eight centimeters per second. The blue robot is the bad guy. And the red robot is you. I ran past that dog 3.2 seconds after him, which means I was 27 meters behind. That translates to 27 centimeters in this model. So with your edge and foot speed, you were closing in approximately 20 meters when he rounded the corner. So at this point, the killer was approximately 18 meters ahead of you. Well, less than that after he got hit by a car. Where'd he go? He had to be within this radius. We still would have been able to see him. It's like he disappeared. He flew away. Maybe he did. Unless he's a member of the Flying Walenda family, I don't see how he got up there. This building was constructed in 1932 when mortar was a mix of lime and sand. Damn. But the flaking and cracking indicates masonry cement. The bricks have been replaced? Hmm. A process called repointing. And the new masonry cement is installed systematically up the entire facade. But if the bricks are left protruding, the killer could easily have climbed high enough blocked by the billboard in a matter of seconds. <laughs> and poof, he disappears right into that window. Lieutenant. Scott Wesley. 
janitor said he and an adult male got into a red monster. No plates. All right, I need an Amber Alert issued on a Wesley Silva, age 10, reddish-brown hair, brown eyes. Question these journals. I stated two days before the group auto murder started. This is what sent him over the edge. Journal entry on that day read they used science to elevate themselves godlike. But they are not gods. What right do they have to create another tortured genius? He's talking about the donors. The cycle must be broken. I will put them out of their misery, starting at the source. Source. Vitro choice, the donor bank. It's methodical, systematic. Working his way through all the donors. But now, he jumped ahead to Wesley. Why? He had to. Dion and Elvis's homes were ransacked. That's why they all came to stay with you. Right. So we couldn't get to him. Then the killer goes in to hurry up offense and jumps to the very end to put a stop to the eugenics freak show. Where? Where is this going to end? I will put them out of their misery at the source. He's headed back to Vitro Choice, where it all began. <laughs> Donor number seven, Chris Sherman. That means the only one that's left unaccounted for on your list is donor number eight, William Sullivan. William, do I look like a William to you? I don't know, maybe more of a Bill. <laughs> 31,723 Williams, Bills, W. Sullivans in the U.S. The only way to confirm if that's really my name is to account for every single one of them. Well, mm. unless that nurse that sold Althea your DNA profile was common. How's he doing? He was administered chloral hydrate, an anesthetic. He'll be fine. Good. I won't remember a thing, though. Well, you know, I just talked to his mother. She's going to meet him over at the hospital. You know, I didn't know any better. I'd say he's got your smile. Yeah. Maybe there's still a chance. <laughs> you think you're ready to be a dad? You know, uh, I know everything about fatherhood. Mm -hmm. Nothing about being a dad. Now that is the smartest thing I've ever heard you say. I do not have a towel. Dude, every time you have a pair, your nose flares. I do not. I don't. I better hope you never have a brain tumor. You come to me and I won't operate. Don't worry, Dante. I'm sure I can talk myself through a simple craniotomy. Partial resectioning. Thanks, Doug. Are we here to play cards or uh, yap like a bunch of women? Next hand. First five digits of the base of natural logarithms is a flush. May I call JD? Guess who came in? Fraternity tests. I took the liberty of opening the letters of those who are no longer with us. All negative. New hand, gentlemen. Game's called Who's Your Daddy? Deuce is wild. You first, Nostral Man. Call. No, 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 no. no. I, 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 why, why do I have well, to... Why don't we open them all at once? On the count of three. Two, three. 
There you go. What are we doing here? I told you I got you a gift. No way! You got me a red 125? <laughs> awesome! <laughs> I thought you were making that one up. Making what? Oh, red. Let me guess. You uh, knew I was colorblind when I said that bike was two-tone silver. Yeah. I guess I thought if I was like you, maybe you'd have to be my dad. You mad? No. Good. Man, thanks for the bike. It's a cool... What? The bike's not your gift. Well, what is? He is. Dante's your father. Make you a deal, kid. You show your old man how to make those cute little robots. I'll show you how to ride sidecar. Go on. Put on your helmet, kid. Whoa, cool, Dad. Thank you. 